Hello everyone, Dave Olender here. Uh, I have just kind of a quick uh, presentation, not very polished. I apologize for the rough edges here, but we're going to go through it first time. And um, so the goal here is to show how to use Solution Manager to copy report styles from one environment to another. All right, let's get started. All right, so I'm logged into the, the ERMC server. And we're gonna, I'm gonna use their environment. So let's start with, uh, let's see, I'm logged into Pilot. Let's take a, let's take a peek at the SSRS server. And if I go into Pilot, and we go into Custom Reports, somewhere in here. There we go. All right, we can see there's a Packslip Demo 1 and a Packslip Demo 2. So among other things, but let's just let's pretend that these are the two. Well, not pretend. We do want to move these over to live, right? Those are the ones I've been working on. I want to bring them over to live. So and if we look over here in the live environment, I go to Reports and then Custom Reports. You can see that those folders don't actually exist. They're not really folders, but yeah, they they look like it. So those folders don't exist in live. So so our goal here is okay. How do we get these over into live? Well, you you know there's a couple different ways of doing this, right? You could manually go into um, and I'm running on a 2012 server here, by the way. Some of you might be on 2016. Looks a little bit different, uh, but it works the same way. So there's no real easier way. You can't really copy this this folder. Uh, what you could do is go into the folder and then hit the little down arrow and say, "Okay, I want to download this." And then you you know you can pick a point, a place where you save it on your local server or your local client. I'm sorry. And um, uh, and then once you download them all independently, then you can upload them in the other way, in the same same way, right? You just go over to live. Uh, you create a folder uh, and you go upload file and you pick the browse and you just upload the but you have to do them a every file one one at a time it's really a pain in the butt uh, I like the detail view and and uh, if you are going to do that please remember that once you get over to the other environment you need to uh, go into each of your SSRS reports I'll go into one now There we go. And you need to update this data source, right? Because right now it points to the, uh, well, this is the, uh, oh, this is the pilot environment, right? So if I move, move it over to live, I need to switch to the live environment. So, so you, you have to do that, switch over. I'm not going to actually do it. Um, save it. And you have to do that for every one of your SSRS reports. So kind of a, kind of a pain in the butt. So, um, so, but there you have a couple other options. One is to go to the report style and do the download uh, and upload. That works really well. But for the purposes of today's demonstration, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use Solution Manager to do this. And Solution Manager, by the way, not only will copy those uh, files over, but it will also update those data sources for you. So if you're doing a whole bunch of SSRS reports, um, this is a really really slick tool. So, all right, so let's get to it. Uh, let's go into pilot. Let's go to, uh, where is it? Solution manager, solution workbench. Okay, and let's just go, okay, we want to create a new solution. I'm going to call this copy pack demo and give it a description copy pack demo in solution type I'm going to say select all the ice elements and you have to save it click on add to solution and so for 
Now, you, there's all kinds of ICE elements here you can copy over, dashboards and BPMs and BAQ reports and um, customizations, and you can, you can see the list of things here. Uh, but all I'm going to deal with right now is just the report style. Okay, so we're going to do a search, and this is one of my favorite little tricks, is to, if you right click on this bar and then say show grid filters, you can help to narrow things down, right? Um, so, for instance, I can go into custom, and I can say, I think they have a contains. And then I can just say, let's say, demo. Boom. There you go. So if you've, if you've been good about your file nomenclature or your report style nomenclature, maybe you've prefixed all your report styles with your company uh, letters or maybe your name. You, you know, uh, If it's the Smith company, maybe you started all your uh, report styles with Smith. This filter is a great way to just kind of weed out the chaff, weed out the standard Epicor reports, because we don't want those. Um, so you can see here, and if you've used a suffix for your report style, you can do the same thing. You can use that contain feature that I you saw me just do. So these happen to be the two that, that I want. So I'm going to hold down the shift key, select them both, say OK. And then we're going to click on Add to Solution. And it's going to ask us, add report data definition because oh there's a data definition associated with this report style so i'm going to say yeah i want that data def and then it's going to do the same thing for the second one now if you did a whole bunch of these if you did 50 of these you're going to have to say yes 50 times it's kind of a pain in the butt but it's still much faster than doing it manually so if we go to the solution tab we can see that uh, what epicor brought over for us was uh, the pack slips and here are the data definitions associated with the with these uh, reports. I'm sorry, I said pack slip. This is these are report styles of the pack slip. Uh, and then here is the two uh, data definitions that go along with those report styles. Now, the one thing you will not see here are the RDLs for the SSRS. That only that only happens when you do the build. So. Um, so now I could add all kinds of other elements here if I wanted to, right? I could go into Add to Solution and I could pick BAQ reports or menu items or whatever. It's a, it's a slick tool. We're going to limit what we're doing today just to the SSRS reports. So, but I think you kind of get the picture. You can pick as many as you want. So they, um, and they've made this better in the later versions of 10, the early versions of 9. There were some limitations. You couldn't do everything. And there were some security rights, like if you tried to copy a, a, BAQ, a BAQ that you didn't own, then it wouldn't it wouldn't install in the new environment. And, uh, you know, but they've figured that stuff out in 10. It works much, much better. It's much more stable. So, all right. So let's uh, move on to the build. So we say, OK, we're going to do, uh, we want to build a solution. You'll get this dialog. And what we want to do is say prompt for cab file location. I'm going to click on the build. That's going to, it's going to ask me, where do you want to put this? Um, I'm just going to say, uh, I'll put it on the desktop. Uh, copy pet demo is the name of it. Say OK. You're going to see it run through. Aha. So here it's asking us, Packslip is an SSRS report style. In addition to exporting report style, do you want to export the RDLs? The RDL is report uh, definition language or something. It's the SSRS, when you download it, turns into an RDL. Uh, at its core, it's really just a big XML file. But um, think of it as if you're used to Crystal Reports, Crystal Reports was RPT, the SSRS exports are RDLs. So, so it's asking us, do you want me to copy over the RDLs? I'm going to say yes. Yes, I do. And then say, and again, you're going to have to say yes to, yeah, there's, there's not a yes to all. So again, if you're doing 50 of these SSR supports, you're going to have to click yes 50 times. Kind of a pain in the butt, but still. Um, uh, still better than having to do it manually. So, all right, so it gets done. It gives you a hash. And we're going to say we're done here. We're going to say close this. Let's close this. And let me minimize that and bring over my 
here's my live environment not really live but yeah that's what what we're calling it all right so let's go to solution manager solution workbench this is in the, the new environment right Just thinking about it. All right. So I want to install the solution. It says, okay, what file do you want to use? Let's go off to the desktop. Here's my, there's my, my file. Okay. Um, this is really important. You want to make sure you turn this on. Only target current company. So, and then personally, I usually turn these on, um, but in this case, nothing, there was nothing pre-existing there. So the overwrite really is not required, but, and a lot of times I'm in the environments where we've been doing development work in, uh, in pilot and we're, we're, this is a go live weekend and maybe the, the structure is basic is in there in live, but maybe not all the updates. And so we're kind of updating everything. So um, in that situation, overwrite is a, is, an, is the appropriate thing. So because you're gonna you know you're gonna go live, you want to make sure that the stuff that you did in test, it, you're gonna have in live. And so overwrite is the is the better of the two choices. So so I, I meant it's kind of a technicality, but uh, and again it doesn't hurt anything if there's nothing there, right? If there's nothing to overwrite, it doesn't hurt anything. So but you certainly don't want to prompt for each one. Like again, if you've got 50 of these SSRS reports you're bringing over, you don't want to have to say yes to every single one, right? So, um, all right, so let's do the install. And you can see it kind of working in the background there. Okay, brought in the import failed for RDLs, why? Why did that fail? Huh. Let's see if we can verify that. Let me go back to live ports, custom reports. Yeah. Yeah, those did not come over. Hmm. I wonder why. Let's let's try it again. Install a solution. Uh, do you want it? Yes, that's fine. Let's get it. Again, we only want the current company. Let's do the install. Yeah, the RDLs failed. The it looks like the the report style and the data definition. Oh, can I import as of it without port design rights? Ah, ha, ha, okay, okay. Well, at least they gave me a they gave me an error message that makes some sense. I am logged in as me, and that's probably correct. This is new, by the way, in the 10 to 300. Uh, I will show you that. Uh, security user account. And there it is, SSRS Report Designer. Save that. 
I'm gonna go out and just come back in. I could have just logged out as me, but all right. I'll bet you this is gonna work now. I told you this was not. This is kind of a rough go through, but. Solution Workbench, I'm in live. Let's say I want to do the install. There's my file. It's only this company. Say overwrite. All right, that looks better. That looks like it worked. All right, so let's see if we can see that. Let's go back to reports and custom reports. There we go. Backslip demo one. There's all the files. Backslip demo two. There's all the files. So at that point, you're pretty much ready to go. But I want to check one other thing. And this is a test that I didn't know the answer to. And we're about to find out. Uh, let's see. Let's go to report style. OK, pack. OK. So here's the styles that it added. Now in the past, they, they were not able to set the default. So let's look under images. Look at that. That's nice. So just to let you know what I did there is in pilot, I had this report style set up as the default report style. And you can see uh, the Epicor made that the default. That used to be a bug in Solution Manager. You could bring in all the um, SSRS reports, but you had to manually set the default, right? It just brought in the list and it didn't set the company default. But it looks like in the new 10.2.3, this is 10.2.300.3 uh, is what I'm running here. Um, you can see it actually made that uh, report style the default, so uh, which was a copy from Pilot to Live. So, so there you go. Uh, just a, a great and simple tool for doing big chunks of data. It's not just for SSRS. Like I said, you can do all kinds of ICE elements, dashboards, menu items, BPMs, customizations, uh, BAQ reports, uh, pretty much anything. So um, that's it for the day, I guess. Uh, hopefully you find this video helpful. And I know I've had a couple people said they were kind of intimidated or didn't know how to use the solution manager. And uh, hopefully this will help you. So if you have any other uh, questions or problems, please uh, don't be shy. Give me a call 651-246-3281 or dlender at oldenderconsulting.com. And I'll do my best to, uh, you know, answer the questions as they, as they, as they come in.